Hey what's up YouTube and uh, today I'm showing you how to fix the jump scare camera not working bug inside of Piggy. Uh, well uh, no not inside Piggy inside of uh, Roblox Studio. This happens when you, you're making a Piggy game uh, and the jump scare camera isn't working. So let me just search something up as an example. So I'll just search up Epic Tank and I'll, I'll take out... Uh, this model with Kona right here. Oh uh, yeah, take out the Kona model. Then where it says jump scare camera scripts, take that out. And then we just make, we don't need to worry about the animations. We, we, we just want to disable the chase script so it doesn't come after our character during the cutscene. And then we're just gonna put everything where it needs to be. For example, put this in replicated storage and then put this in starter GUI. And then we got to search up, oh, make sure include unverified creators is ticked. And then, yeah, you want to search up, um, uh, cats are cuckoo one. And when you hit apply, you'll find, uh, no, you'll find this piggy item and event kit. So this is good. And then we'll also just search up, uh, the real allow. 2011 Okay So Okay, that's not the kit I'm looking for I was looking for the cutscene kit that he had But I only realised I have it in my inventory So I'll be right back Okay, so now that I've got the cutscene kit from my inventory You again just want to put everything where it is You want to put this in uh, Yeah, just replicated storage And then Start a GUI and then workspace. Uh, okay. Then you can just delete the cutscene kit model. And uh, yeah, I think we're done here. So let's go ahead and give this a play. So um, you can see that our cutscene is working. Yep, the cutscene that we played is working. And by the way, here's the thing if you remove that avatar POS thing, the cutscene won't work, so make sure you just move that somewhere you don't want it to be. Okay, so our our cutscene is working, and uh, let me just make my character fast real quick. Okay, so our cutscene is working, and so are the events. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go grab a green key, and uh, oh yeah, grab a green key. Okay, like, I think I did something wrong here. Um, what did I do? Oh, yeah. I forgot to put this into replicated storage. Uh, okay. And then just make sure color switching and item switching are true. Okay. So let's go ahead and try this one more time. Okay. So, uh, go into my character in Humanoid and... Uh, yeah, the reason it says zero is because there is a script in the cutscene kit which causes our character not to move until the cutscene is over. Okay, now it's at 60, I'm just going to change it to 50. So, the event should be working now. So, let's see. Um, uh, green key. Okay. Okay, so the events are working now, so did the cutscene. But, the thing is... When we go up to our character, we want him to kill us. The jump scare camera didn't play. And I'll tell you why. It's because the, the remotes of where the jump scare is, like, it's the same as the remotes that are used for the cutscene. So a good way to change this is you want to change this to um, jump scare remotes like that. And then in you want to go into Kona and uh, edit the script in here. And where it says replicated storage, uh, you, you just want to change this to um, jump scare remotes. And then you also change this to jump scare remotes. And then we need to look for where it says remotes again. Okay, so where it says remotes, we also change this to jump scare remotes. Okay, so then now that we've 
edited that script we go down to the cutscene GUI uh, no not the cutscene GUI the jump scare GUI go into the local script and uh, yeah change this to uh, jump scare rem remotes one more time and then change this to jump scare remotes as well and then change this to jump scare remotes and then I think we're done here so if I go ahead and play this now, uh, okay, I'll, I'll be back once the cutscene is finished. Okay, so I'm back and uh, I have finished the um, cutscene. So uh, now that I've done that, the camera should work. So there you go, we just fixed it. So the reason why the camera wasn't working is because the remotes were the same as the jump scare remotes and you just want to make sure they're named differently to avoid any confusion with uh, the programming. So yeah, just make sure that wherever in this script, wherever it says remotes, you change it to jump scare remotes. So, and then in the local script, the same thing, wherever you find the word remotes, you want to change it to jump scare remotes. So yeah, that is how you fix the bug. And if you did find it helpful, drop a like on the video and comment below what you want to see next.